welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and I'm really pleased that you've joined me on the channel today for this unboxing. I think it's going to be a very special one. In fact, I knew I was going to get it even before I saw the rendering. It is from Diamond Art Club and I'd seen the artwork on the artist's Facebook site and just knew it was definitely one for me. So we will share the unboxing in just a moment, but I wanted to say a really big thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Thank you so much. It really is appreciated. And I hope you ding the bell for those notifications because I do upload willy nilly as you were, as and when I want to, or as and when I've got something to share with you. So to be notified of my uploads, please do ding the notification bell too. If you're a new viewer, then welcome to the channel. I really hope that you enjoy what I've got to share with you and the community here on Stone Magpie. Diamond painters everywhere, such wonderful people, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Now, you could say that this one was written in the stars, as I said, always meant to be. However, Diamond Art Club had sent out an email with voucher codes and when you clicked on it, you got your amount. And mine, lucky me, was 25% off. And even luckier me, it was still valid the weekend that this diamond painting was released. So let's go and have a look. Oh, can't wait, so exciting. Okay, we're at the table ready to unbox. Now question is, did you pick up on the subtle clues at the beginning of the video and know which kit this is? Right, let me show you. It is a square diamond painting kit. It is from Diamond Art Club and it's Libra by Dakota Dateweiler. And as soon as I saw this painting, oh, it's amazing. There are so many symbols in this painting and we'll talk about those once we see the canvas. <gasps> right, let's get it open. Cellophane wrapper is off. Let's open the box. Oh, I always get a little thrill when we're opening a box. Slip this one out. Toolkit. There we go. Now this one is a 65 by 81. I'm hoping to get it all on my table when we open out the canvas. We'll see how we get on. But first we'll look at the toolkit. See what we've got. Pour it all out onto the table. Now with the toolkit from Diamond Art Club, we always get similar elements. There are just a few changes with colorways and the cover minder. So we'll go through the basic elements first, starting with the tray. So you, this one is a white funnel tray. I always prefer the funnel trays to be able to pour back into the storage or the packets easily. And this one does come with a stopper. So you pop that in the end to stop any diamonds falling out while you're diamond painting if you want to. You don't have to use this. I don't, I just tend to keep my finger at the end of the, the tray. But if you're doing a lot of colour blocking, you may want to use that stopper. Next, we get a bag of baggies, usually around 25 or so. So nice to have, especially if you want to use these for your spares or you want to diamond paint out of packets instead of storage. We get a pair of tweezers, branded tweezers, metal needle nose, so very sharp on the end, hence why there is a plastic guard to keep those nice and safe while you're not using them. And I use these for all sorts of reasons. If you've seen my videos, you'll see me using these to pick bits off, to put things on, to push down frames, to straighten up diamonds, all sorts of things I use tweezers for. We get a basic diamond painting pen in different colourways and this time I've got a beautiful purple, a dark purple colour. <gasps> that is a beautiful colour. Really pleased that I've got a nice purple one. 
and I've got a purple squidgy to match and they just push up onto the pen, push them up where your fingers sit for comfort whilst you're diamond painting. So nice to have. And we get two multi-placers. We get what was my favourite four-placer and a seven-placer as well. These ones I go back to, if I'm not using my metal tips, I go back to these ones, but now I use a five-placer instead. And we get a caddy of pink wax, heart-shaped. We get two slabs with a lid to keep them nice and fresh in their caddy. Now these are the elements that can change a little bit as well. We get a cover minder and this time I've got a beautiful green flower. Really cute, quite dinky this one, feels quite delicate and small. Really pretty green with the magnets on. So if you pull down your protective cover, put that on the top, this under the canvas and it will hold that cover back whilst you diamond paint. That's what that's for. And we get some washi tape and the design for me this time is a lovely red floral on a vine of green leaves. Look, oh, really pretty. And I think because it's got that beige background, it feels quite vintage this one. I think that would be nice for Christmas on the Christmas wrapping because they look quite poinsettia like. Really nice. I don't use these on my diamond paintings, but I do use them on other crafting. So I like to have a nice little selection to look at. <laughs> so a lovely toolkit from Diamond Art Club. I always enjoy theirs. Really nice quality and the nice little surprises that we get too. But really, we want to see the canvas. Okay, here it comes. Oh, stuck down very well this time to rip it open. And let's see, oh, I think she is this way up. Here we are. Oh, it's so exciting. Here are the details on the bottom of the canvas with the Diamond Art Club code. It is a 65 by 81 by Dakota Dateweiler. Lovely. And then we've got the social media messages and the lifetime warranty details on the bottom here too. And you can see the legend just peeking out on the bottom right. We do get the legend on top left as well. Now I can already see that this canvas is going off screen. So I'm going to change my camera angle. Okay, that's better. Let's bring it down a little bit and we'll open out the diamond painting. <gasps> there is so many symbols within this diamond painting and I am going to talk you through it. And I have done a bit of research. So there are lots of details to go through. Wow, so blue down this bottom end. And here she is, gorgeous face with the sun detail, the moon detail, and that blindfold over one eye. There are reasons for all of this. And of course, we'll go through the diamonds a bit later. But let's get this all out and as flat as we can on my table. The Diamond Art Club canvases are so soft and they do self flatten very, very quickly. So no need to put these ones under your bed or something heavy on top. They just naturally lay flatter. Wow. Now my first impression is, and I have seen the pictures lots of times, it's a lot bluer. <laughs> lots and lots of blue. So I think when I go through the diamonds, I'm going to be saying another blue, another blue, but I'm not going to go through all of the colours when I do 
do the diamonds for that reason but she's got the beautiful scales on the top here in the silver shimmer with the Libra constellation behind and all of those stars in the sky. I wonder what diamonds that will be. Then we've got the two balancing sides of the scales with, as I mentioned, the sun here and the moon. Then we've got her beautiful face. I'm really going to be interested to see the colourways because it does look like there's a touch of green and a touch of pink with that wonderful folded blindfold over one eye. So she's got one eye looking out and those luscious lips there and the Libra symbol as her earring here. All of these little attention to details that just beautiful. And Libra is the Queen of Swords and we have the sword cutting across the canvas here with that sharp blade, the glint, yet the beautiful butterfly perched on for that touch of delicacy. Really, really stunning. And it just gives me the wonderful sense of balance here because we've got the sharp with the soft, we've got the sun and the moon, the yellow and the blue, lots of different elements balancing out this picture. As we go down, you can see her armour, her protective armour with the flowers, the soft flowers at the bottom with those petals swirling around in the background here with her long hair flowing down and all of those sparkly details dotted throughout the whole canvas to add that extra shimmer. So let's have a look at the legend while we're down here at the bottom. We've got 57 colours in all. And look at, we've got four Z codes here. We will have a look, as I say, to see what they are all about. And we've got what looks like three ABs at the top. One, two and dot. Then numbers, symbols, letters throughout a nice colour range. So although there are a lot of blues in this picture, there are also a lot of other colours speckled about, as you can see in the bottom with this flower. Now, as I say, I did some research on Dakota's picture here of Libra, and I found some details of what she was thinking while she was planning this painting. So I would like to share those with you. Now, Dakota did post online for ideas for Libra. I didn't see that post, so I haven't put my input in at all, which is a shame because I would have loved to do so. But lots of people did respond and balance was really important to the Libra people. And that is so true. As I've already mentioned in the painting, it is a very balanced picture. Now with the sun and the moon, that does represent the light and the dark side of us. I did wonder whether it's because Libra are quite indecisive and just can't make up their mind, light or dark, day or night. <laughs> so we like all of it to balance out so we don't really have to make that decision. <laughs> Libra is the Greek goddess of justice, hence the scales as in the judicial scales, but also the sword. The butterfly is the Celtic animal for Libra, but Dakota also placed it on her sword to symbolize friendliness and softness against that sharp sword. Libra's strong with a sword in her hand, but she allows kindness and friendship by letting the butterfly sit on it. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? And a detail I hadn't actually spotted, and I love this detail. <gasps> wow, right. In the top of the scales here, Dakota has painted a sapphire for September, because that's when Libra season starts. And happy birthday to any fellow Librans that are celebrating their birthday. Sapphire and opal on the other side the symbol for October. That is just 
a beautiful detail. And as I say, I hadn't spotted that and I'm usually keen eyed on these diamond paintings. So incredible. And here to the bottom, the asters and marigolds are the birth flowers for September and October as well. So really, really beautiful detail. And these petals that I've mentioned blowing around at the bottom symbolize air because Libra is an air sign. So everything you could possibly want in a Libra picture, this painting has. And the rendering by Diamond Art Club is gorgeous. I have seen the photo of this one on the Diamond Art Club website and the detail is astonishing. Really beautifully done with all of the blends of blue with a touch of mints, mint green, peppermint green without, within. And here we've got a touch of lilac as well touch of lilac here on her face, just to bring out those extra details and the glow around the moon and the sun. I hope you can see that here with the sun rays and that moon having the aura around it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I really want to see what the diamonds are in this, especially those Z codes. Let's have a look together now. So with Diamond Art Club, we always get a thank you leaflet, which does have information in starter details, scan codes if you want to look at their step-by-step -step video, if it's your first kit, and a link to the VIP Facebook group. So nice little leaflet if you're a beginner. And we get our lovely sticker sheet. Now this is the big sticker that we get that you can use in your log if you use a log book with a start date and end date. And here is that wonderful painting. Just look, oh, look at that moon. I love the detail of the moon craters and all of that cloudiness around the top left. Really, really nice. Okay, so the stickers we get are pre-cut. So when you're using your storage, you just peel those off and pop them on. I don't use the numbers. I tend to cut those off and I just use the symbol and the color code on my storage. But easy, easy to peel and we get spares as well to use on other kits that perhaps don't come with the stickers. And you can see all of the colors there. Really nice selection really clear symbols. I will peel back the protective layer once we've looked at the diamonds to have a closer look at the canvas too. Here they are with a label Libra so that if you store your diamonds separately from your painting you'll know which diamonds relate to which kit. So, as I say, lots of blues, lots of blues, right, 803, I'm just going to count the packs of how many packs we get of 803, because there seem to be a lot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 packs of 803, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 of 3, 1, 2, 1, Two, three, four, four packs of three, three, six, two packs of three, three, four, two packs of three, seven, five, five, and then three, three, four, four packs of three, two, two, and that's pretty much the blues done apart from this one here. 3325. The rest of the colours, we've got mint greens, we've got a pale blue, two packs of pale yellow, a white AB141, a what would you call that? It's a brownie red, 3777, another yellow, 
a brown, a red, a dark green, grey, another blue there, cream and a very pale grey, green, another blue, a beautiful AB, grey AB, oh, I wonder if that's the sword, mm, we'll have a look at where the ABs go, and then we've got some smaller, the little cute packs, grey, purple, two different greys, a tan, orange, lilac, bright lilac, another grey, brown, coral, a darker tan, a teal and a blue. And then the last pack has three tens. Look at that dinky pack of three tens. <laughs> A mid mint, a brown, beautiful AB, brown, purple, orangey brown, two different purples, a blue, a cream, bright green. Not many of these for a painting this size. Look, just a little spattering. A buttermilk, another brown, another bright green, a paler green, tiny amount of that brown tiny amount of pale blue and two tiny amounts of brown and cream. Okay, I think we spotted the ABs as we were going along. We've got a grey, we have got lots of this white, I wonder if that is all of the stars in the background, we will see. And we have the brown tan AB here. Okay, so they are our three ABs. Let's have a look for the Z codes. We should have four to look for. I can see two of them here. This pale grey and this chunky pack here. Now I should have, yeah that's right, four. Okay. Now from afar you probably think well why are they being called a Z code? Because they look like usual diamonds, there's no AB shimmer. So what's it all about? Well let me bring you closer up. So in these two packs this orange you can hopefully see that they are fairy diamonds. And that means that there is a, like a glitter finish on the top of each of those diamonds. And again, with this lilac purple, I'm hoping the camera can bring that out, the fairy dust finish on these. It is so pretty, really soft detail. And we have this chunky pack here of this buttermilk yellow. Really, really gorgeous. And this, it's sort of um, a very, very pale silver gray. Really pretty, delicate finish on these diamonds. So where do they sit on the painting? Shall we do the bottom half first? First of all, looking for the ABs. Let's see, one, two and dot. Well, the dots <laughs> are really easy to spot because they are all of the speckled dots being one for one. Have we got any one and two symbols? In this half of the diamond painting, we've got some number ones, this beautiful color here, as the sword, what's it called, the um, hilt? Is it called the hilt of the sword? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, that bit there <laughs> has some of those ABs in. And along the edge of the sword, we have the white as well. And this little ding of a glimmer here. Going to the Z codes, which are 
the timer on a side, C slash and L, well, I can see immediately that the L code is sort of outlining the petals of those flowers at the bottom, as well as highlighting with this orange within the petal, little touches in the petals there. Oh, and in the timer, if I turn it that way round, the timer on its side is this purple and they are brought out in those, the asters, these purple asters have that purple Z fairy dust diamond in. Now, do we have any of the C code? So the only bit of the C code I can spot is within, again, the sword Hilt. I'm going to call it a hilt. <laughs> right, let's go to the top of the diamond painting and see where they will be here. Okay, starting with the ABs again, we've still got them all dotted around in the background. These little white speckles, we've got them around the moon edge and the scales themselves. We've got them all within the middle of that sunshine, a lot of them in there for that glow. We've got them at the top of the scales and in the constellation, the Libra constellation at the back there. One as a twinkle in her eye. And again, down the side detail of her face to bring out the light from the sunshine that hits her face there with those ABs. So the number two symbol, we've got touches on the base of the scales either side. We've got along the top of the scales and down the rope on the moon side of the diamond painting. Symbol one, I've just noticed, is in the earring. The Libra symbol within that earring is AB. Oh, beautiful. Let's have a look where the fairy dust goes. Have we got any of the purples being the symbol on its, the timer on its side? The only place I can spot is here in that purple part of her face here is going to be these lovely fairy dust diamonds. Let's have a look for symbol slash. Oh, in the butterfly wing. So the butterfly wing has those fairy dust diamonds. This symbol being the L is all in the sunshine. We've got some in the butterfly wing as well, but mainly around the sun. Then we've got symbol C, this pale grey. The C symbol is again at the top of the scales as well as the stand and the rope details down the side as well. So it's really going to bring all of the diamond painting together, having these different twinkles going on in different parts of the painting. As promised, I've peeled back the protective layer for you to see the canvas. I've just noticed that there are some fairy dust diamonds of this colour within the opal as well. I think this is one of those paintings that details are going to come out of the painting as you diamond paint and you see something different all of the time. So I hope that I've mentioned everything to you so that you've got a really good idea of the diamond painting and what it includes. I'm just stunned by the detail. I think it's so beautiful and there are lots of places to colour block on this diamond painting. If you like colour blocking, this one could be a good one for you. Although there is a lot of Libra symbolism within the painting, it is a standalone painting anyway. So if you love the image, you don't necessarily have to be a Libra to do this one. I know that I spotted one 
in this series, it was the Leo and I was so tempted and I held off because I knew I had to have Libra and I didn't want to be able to not be able to afford it when it came out. So I was holding off and holding off, but there may well be a time when I collect a few more in this series just because the artwork is so fabulous. So pulling back the protective la layer even more to get a really nice view of the canvas, how clear it is. Diamond Art Club canvases are always really easy to follow. The symbols are always very clear. I've never had an issue with the printing of the canvases or running out of diamonds at all. However, if you do, there is a great customer support that you can contact to resolve any issues. They also do have a Facebook page as well, as we saw in the leaflet. So if you've enjoyed seeing this painting by Dakota, please do consider looking at her YouTube page as well. It is called Paintings by Dakota Dateweiler and it may well whet your appetite to have one of her diamond paintings too. So I really hope that you've enjoyed spending some time with me here on Stone Magpie channel. If you have, please do subscribe. It's always appreciated and I really do thank you for watching and spending time here with me. So this is another one where I want to start it straight away. Let's see what happens next. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye.